How much of a lead does Europe have on this agenda? Anna, it's great to be here with you today, and thanks for having me. Um, indeed, I would suggest that Europe has been in the leadership position for many years on topics of sustainability, uh, though you're seeing the U.S. catch up under the Biden administration with John Kerry's activities uh, and kind of the U.S. agenda coming up to the fore, coming up to, to meet their European counterparts. And I would also be remiss if I didn't suggest that Asia is really uh, is emerging in this in the discussions with us, at least as a financial services organization. Uh, in particular, uh, regulators in, in Singapore are quite innovative and focused on climate and climate change. So while the Europeans may have been in the leadership position and, and continue to push important topics, I think you're really seeing this as a global topic more and more. So this is increasingly more and more a global topic then, Lydie. And you at Credit Suisse, you're holding your first sustainability week with that in focus. What, what, what's, what's broadly going to top the agenda? Yes, indeed. It's our, our first sustainability week, having launched our, our uh, doubling down our efforts last year. And we have uh, uh, thought leaders coming together from around the world uh, uh, to discuss transition, uh, disruption, innovation, and it's very important because we've seen that our investors really want to participate in investing into a more sustainable future, whether that's through uh, reshaping uh, their corporate footprint or by having their individual portfolio actually accessing ESG product. So we, we think it's our role as a financial services institution to, to facilitate that transition, to provide that guidance, that expertise to our clients. So uh, it kicks off today with an in-person event in Geneva, uh, uh, and we go virtual for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's, it's just going to be a phenomenal event. Mm. And I guess a lot of this will focus on what is the financial services sector's role in the transition, in moving us towards uh, more of a sustainable global economy. Clearly, it's been the job of financial services to fund innovation for a very long time, but now also perhaps to drive change and to hold some companies to account. Is that part of the conversation? So different investors have different expectations as to what is the job of financial services in this, uh, this transformation? Indeed, we've taken the position that it is our, our responsibility uh, to, be, to facilitate the, the transition. And we participate in several uh, industry groups, including the Sustainable Markets Initiative, led by His Royal Highness Prince Charles. Uh, they did get a bit of airtime at the G7 a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but we also work with uh, NGO leaders in the, in the field to really think through how to facilitate a transition. And that includes advising our corporate clients on how to move through this. We know that, that billions of dollars have been committed to the transition, and those billions of dollars are going to go and fund the innovation that's going to reduce the, the climate impact, the carbon impact uh, of corporations around the world. We at CS, we've, we've committed to a net zero ambition. We've aligned our ambitions to Paris, um, and we're working through that now. And um, this is hard work. It's not... Uh, it's not overnight work, but we're very focused on it and we're very committed to, mm. to engaging with our clients, but also reshaping our footprint uh, to reduce our impact as well. So you're going to be talking to large corporate clients. I suppose individual investors, though, increasingly wanting to reflect ESG goals in their investments. How do you, how do you see that transition taking place, Lady? Do, do most investors come and say, I just want to green my portfolio and I want to do it now? Or is this a, a, a long period of transition that you build in? Well, there's probably a few different slices to, to answer that question. The first is demographics. We see that the younger generations and also women are very focused on incorporating ESG early and, and are, have led the charge, so to speak. Um, but increasingly, our view is that ESG product is table stakes. So you have to really transition these products to, uh, to take into consideration ESG factors. And that's a very uh, 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 slow and kind of um, painstaking process uh, to avoid greenwashing or any sort of risk uh, around um, uh, that topic. Um, but it's really, it's, our view is it's table stakes. And we won't be talking about ESG as, a, as an other. It will just be incorporated, integrated is the term of art in this field um, as we move forward. And, and that's really our expectation. And that's what we really believe the demographics are proving out to us as well. 
And of course, beneath the surface, the green agenda contains many sort of sub themes, uh, Lydie, and, I, and I'm guessing that uh, investors want exposure to some of these. Uh, talk to me about where is the investor interest at this point? Where is most money happy to go when you look at some of these sub themes? So uh, it, whether it's to do with making sure our water is clean, whether it's about biodiversity or about sustainability of food chains, what was the hot topic at the moment? Well, clearly environment was the most liquid and the most invested uh, topic, this uh, theme over, over time. And, and it's the most mature investable space of the ESG ecosystem. Uh, but COVID and the inequities of the healthcare outcomes and the fragility of society um, overall really brought the S topic up, up, the, up the radar screen. So we're increasingly seeing more and more appetite around um, social. Um, we at CS, we, we have taken a stance that social is so important that we've actually appointed a head of social sustainability to actually consider how to uh, advise our clients to incorporate social standards into their business strategy, but also to push forward with social products to invest in. Um, and we also have a, a head of biodiversity, which is also a topic that is increasingly taken up uh, more and more airtime. So um, while it was predominantly E of ESG for many years, uh, S has come up more and more. And um, the sub themes, as you said, are, are very important, whether it's you know, cleaning our oceans or uh, nutrition and wellness. All of these topics are what our clients want to participate in. And this is really the change of COVID. This is really where COVID uh, brought some other topics into the, into the investors' uh, frame of reference and into their uh, appetite. 